Hey Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. So today we're going to make a junk ice cream. If you have had Tim Hortons before, you know they call it like a cold stone ice cream. Um, Cause they like break down all of these toppings and they put it in your ice cream and they mix it all up on a cold stone, which keeps the ice cream cold. So today we're going to be making something like that and I call it a junk ice cream. I probably only eat ice cream like four or five times a year and I always try to look for something that's like better with ingredients. So I found this in Walmart for $4.24 and looking at the ingredients, it did not have like a lot of anything as far as, you know, being bad. Um, just some milk, cream, sugar, corn syrup, water, skim milk, peanut oil is refined, whey. Um, I believe that's a grain or a protein, peanuts, coconut oil refined, alkalized, uh, coconut salt, mono and diglycerides, soy lithium, cellulose gum, natural flavors, gar, gum, and a mito color. And so this was not as bad as anything else that I've seen in the store. Um, so I got this ice cream. It is like a little trail mix. So it has peanut butter cups, stick chocolate, vanilla, and fudge ice cream. And then I also had got some Oreos. I love Oreos. I got two kinds of those. And then I had got some candy. Their Halloween candy was on sale. So I got some Reese's and some Kit Kats. And that's it. So I have this bowl to help me crush down things. As you can see, Team Ed, she turn up. Um, and then I have this bowl to mix my ice cream and put it back. Again, I don't eat a lot of ice cream like that. So this will be my ice cream scoop. And we're just going to get to crunching. Well, this is nice. Love that. So I did let the ice cream get a little soft and now that I think about it, it might be better to like <laughs> do it piece by piece. So I'm going to put a little bit of that back and then I'll break it down piece by piece because you know when you eat in certain foods, you want everything to have that taste. That's how I am. Everything got to have some candy in it. So I'm just going to break this down a little bit. I'm not sure if you can hear me too well. And then I'll go in and get one of each. I don't think I should use all of this. But whatever I don't use, I'll put it away. This is like literally the easiest way I feel like this would work. So <laughs> that is exactly why I'm doing it like this. Go ahead and open up some Reese's and some Kit Kats. I'm 
Now I do want to save some of these because it is quite a lot of candy. Like, shouldn't use all of that in this ice cream. Three, four. I do want more Reese's than that though. So the rest of that will just be extra. So we won't use all of that in this. up my Kit Kats. At Tim Hortons they have like these spoons that you use to crush up everything. And then for my Reese's I would just like actually I'll just go ahead and just cut these up real quick. Oreos, golden Oreos, regular Oreos, Kit Kats, and Reese's. Let's put this in here. Go in with some ice cream. I was gonna use it all anyway, just because I'm so heavy headed, and it's right here, so I'm like, hey, why not? So, you know, every bit of this ice cream is just gonna be so flavorful. OMG. That is it. I should have crushed some B vitamins in here. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm one of them people like when you be eating messy stuff or junk food and you still try to be healthy with it like this. If you don't put them vitamins not in that ice cream. <laughs> Sometimes when I used to cook for people, they be like, bro, Alexis, did you put something else in here or it's just the regular ingredients? I be like, bro, you ain't got to worry about it. It ain't nothing but love. But no, nah, when I cook for other people, though, I don't do nothing crazy. But for me, I will crush up some vitamins though and drop it right in here, but I won't do that today. But yeah, so this is kind of unthawed a little bit. I'm going to leave it in this bowl and put it back in the freezer. This is personal ice cream. Whoops, so I won't be sharing this with anyone. Um, as you can see, this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. So when this gets frozen, I'm going to come back and show you my portion that I'm going to eat because I'm about to go watch a movie and subway was so out of that popcorn that they usually have and i was like oh my god 
so I just opted in for ice cream so as you can see this is gonna be so good I'm gonna let it freeze up a little bit and then I'm just gonna come back and dip it out I'll have this sample for now mm-hmm it is absolutely delicious so this is what it looks like it is so good I know this might look crazy but it is so delicious I love it I just wanted to stop by and show you all that I was making a junk ice cream for my movie day honey I pray that you have a fabulous weekend God bless you and Alexis loves you leave below in the comment section what is your favorite ice cream and what are the favorite desserts that you would put in ice cream Mwah.